Hi, hello you guys, my name is Elif, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, as you got the by title, I'll be unboxing a pair of sneakers that caused quite of an excitement when I posted it on Instagram a while back. I don't think I've gotten so many questions about a pair of shoes before, so I thought I would come in today and kind of do an in-depth review on it in here and talk to you about the advantages and disadvantages after owning it for a while. There was a lot of interest in this pair, so I thought I would do the FAQ of the sneakers pretty much. Practically, I'm doing the brand's work in here. If you've been following me for a while, you know what pair of shoes I'm talking about. If you don't, what are you waiting for? These are the GCDS clear transparent sneakers. Before I go ahead in with a review, if you're new here, you know the drill, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really, really does help me grow. Also make sure to hit the bell notification button so you're updating whenever I post a new video. Sounds good. Now we can start. Now I'm always on the lookout for interesting shoes and accessories because I feel like I keep it quite simple on my clothing choices and quite minimalistic. So I like to spice things up on the finishing touches of my looks. And GCDS has been a brand that I've been obsessed with for about a year now since I first found about them and I really like their modern and colorful design. They always play a lot with oversized fits and fun materials like leather and vinyl or even bold colors, just stuff that are a little bit more out there and more attention grabbing, which I like, especially when it comes to my accessories. So I have a lot of things on my wish list for them. But the moment I saw these transparent sneakers, they quickly moved up to the list and long story short, here we are with them a month later. Now, it didn't take a month to come, it just took me a month to make the decision and finally buy them. Now these are called the Coco Slim Skate Sneakers. They feature a transparent design with a crocodile effect throughout the whole shoe, which is a nice little detail to make the shoe interesting as they're not really that many things you can play around with. I mean, it is a clear shoe, of course, the shoe itself is enough to attract attention and make the shoe interesting, but it's nice that they still fun ways to elevate the design of it and make it a little bit more spicier even when it was quite hard to do so in my opinion. I'm sorry if you can hear the construction work at the back by the way, it just started, I don't know what to say, I guess uh, living in Central has been quite noisy, not going to lie, but going into um, the appearance once again, whatever I've not covered is you got the front uh, lacing in here and the GCDS logo on the sole. And yeah, it pretty much looks exactly like a skate sneaker with the detailing here on the front. Also, you get holes throughout the whole shoe. I'm not so sure how well you can see that and how well the camera is picking it up, which is pretty nice in my opinion, as the shoe is made out of plastic and it's good to have that breathable element and for your feet to get some fresh air, all things will get messy in here. Now, I've been wanting to get transparent sneakers for a while now. I think it may be a couple of years now. It was since Dior released their transparent high tops, but I just couldn't justify the price. I couldn't justify paying so much for something that realistically I wasn't going to wear as much as I would like. Like these don't go with everything and they're not going to be my everyday shoe, but as somebody who loves collecting shoes and collecting these fun designs. This is going to be a great addition. And as someone who also has an unhealthy relationship with socks, I have so many of them in different designs and I love getting like different color socks. This will be perfect because now I can finally sew them off and I can finally add another element into my outfit and I can now play around with different colorways and it's just another like fun element that I can put into my outfit, which I really, really like that. I actually wore it already with a pair of tie-dye socks that I got from weekday and I really, really liked the way it looked and the way it spiced up the outfit even more. But I think once spring comes along, things will get much easier and it'll be a lot easier to pair up with swords. Now, in terms of size, which in my opinion is the trickiest part when purchasing the shoes because Simply, there's just not that much room for error in here. If you get the wrong size, the whole world's going to know. And actually, I uh, ended up getting the wrong size the first time that I purchased them. Well, Zalando sent me the wrong size when I got them. Uh, my fit was like ending here and you could see it like through the shoe and it was the weirdest thing ever, but I ended up returning them and getting my regular size. Now on the GCDS website, it says you should size down but I got my regular size and so far things have been running pretty smoothly and I've been wearing them for about a month now or so. You can see here that they have the GCDS logo so if you have fit with like stickier bones, um, yeah, it may be a little bit uncomfortable. Like I've always had issues with that part of my feet and actually when I was younger, I could only wear Reebok because that was the only brand 
that my feet would fit in. A bit of a traumatic experience, but if you have normal feet, you should be fine, don't worry. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it with this pair of shoes. Obviously, just a heads up, it is not going to be as comfortable as your leather pair of shoes. It is made out of PVC plastic after all, but I've been wearing these for many hours walking around London the past couple of weeks and they have been totally fine. I've had leather boots that were more painful than this, but I'm really, really excited to start wearing it more around the summer months now. I think that the clean and clear design of this will go perfectly with shorts, but even just a simple pair of white socks and you're still elevating an outfit by a lot. If you have any more questions with this pair of suits, drop me a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer if I can, of course. For more daily fashion, you can also follow me on Instagram, which I'll have in the description below. I post it twice a day and there's a lot of art for inspiration for you guys. If there's anything else that you'd like to see, feel free to drop me down message below. I love listening to you guys' feedback. But till I see you again, I hope you can be safe and bye-bye.